All right, we're gonna have a quick rundown of the uh, search algorithms to solve the eight puzzle problem. Uh, first off, we have the main function here. So it's basically gonna read our input file, which is a tab, or excuse me, common delimited text file for in which each of these is an initial state. So we have right now five games that we can go ahead and place, so five initial states. So load those in. Our goal test, uh, what we want is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight around the outside, zero in the center. And we have our search process here, which is our class. We'll take a look at that a little later. Um, that basically lets us handle the nodes a little easier. So then from here, we're gonna run through the input files one at a time, little error checking to make sure it's the right size and has the right values in there. And then we're going to process this uh, with this game, the current game, with the desired goal state. Looking at our search class, so this contains a bunch of lists of our nodes that we'll have output. Let's us handle them a little easier. Our process, which is actually what calls everything and kicks off our uh, the nodes to expand. Um, it's going to create our initial node from our our starting uh, our initial conditions and append this to this open list. So open is our current set of open nodes um, and we will look at the first one on each node so we'll pop that first one off uh, <clears throat> check if it has your gold test on it if it has met that gold test we're done otherwise we're going to expand from there each one and append it to the next uh, on the list to expand a little bit of sorting here for the different heuristics so ultimately our output we have a couple output files and um, then at the end we'll clean it up. So we'll pop the first one off, delete it, and uh, set it. We'll close it out. So from there we'll look at our node class. The node has the state, the parent, and then our heuristic here, and the this current node's uh, children. And the main function here, expand, um, finds the current uh, state and checks for valid moves. So Really, it's checking if we're on like left side, right side. We can't move left from the left side or up from the top. And I also added so that we can't go back into previously explored states. So that is really the uh, check valid move flag. If it's a valid move, it'll just expand in from there, and it's going to return the children for this class for that specific node, and it's going to basically search until it. Uh, uh, finds the solution. And then a quick run of it, we can see um, we the first puzzle was extremely easy. We'll see uh, that first puzzle uh, was basically solved. Uh, the only difference was it moved to zero and it expanded. You can see this one sorted by uh, the displaced values and the death value and it solved it basically in a single, the first uh, attempt. Moving to the next one, see the second one's uh, going to be a little more difficult. Um, so after the first one is complete, <clears throat> I'm going to step through, and it has a little bit more, and each node will be expanded um, to, during the search. Three, depth of three. and you can see each one has the heuristics that we care about and the um, uh, current state of our matrix that we are that we're in for each configuration. Some of them will take a little longer. State three, for example, took a little longer, but each of these we do see will find a solution in the end. Um, so they do get pretty lengthy. I think some of them we get down to a depth of 10. And um, yeah, that's the, the quick overview of the search algorithm for solving the eight puzzle problem.